they have funny little twists and turns and they have three eyes and four legs and and so do we uh, on the inside you know they're, they're, they look strange but but we are we are strange that they're all different and we are all different that there is no kind of normal and there's no real beauty it's just the funny little things uh, the funny little twists and turns that make us who we are an ugly doll is it's you it's us there's sort of like an embodiment of the things that we want to cover up but shouldn't they're not monsters they're not creatures um, they're the uh, physical manifestation of the things about yourself you dislike the most but should love and hold on to Sun Min Kim is is my wife now she hand sewed the first 1500 uh, ugly dolls in the very beginning she had no sewing machine this is the first time she ever tried to sew anything ever and this is the second time so she went from first attempt to this Everything starts actually with a drawing. The very first drawing was me uh, actually sitting next to Sun Min for the first time in art school. We had an illustration class together and we were, had to draw a nude and with some fruit. Sun Min, uh, she drew this incredible, like almost without looking, this really realistic human figure and the fruit and everything was perfect and I kind of just drew these things but but in the pose of the, the nude model and the teacher came over to us and said, oh that's, that's hideous, that, that, that's ugly. I say, oh, well, what is ugly? You know, ugly is the re only real beauty there is. That ugly means unique. And Sunman was listening to me and like, oh, that was interesting what you just told her. I was like, well, I was just, I was just BSing her. But she's like, well, I know, but I, I kind of like what you just said right there. And we started doodling immediately together. And that was sort of our first interaction uh, with each other. And we're drawing constantly. We're constantly coming up with, well, what else is out there in the universe? It, See that little building we drew in that book? What's around that corner? What's down that alley? Let's figure that out today. We're, we're always doing that. It's working night and day drawing uh, stories and, and creating products and scenarios and that part's never changed really. We're just expressing it in different ways. So the, the actual work, was, it's still the same table and it's still the same seven different size pens and the same pieces of paper and that, that part hasn't really changed. Uh, all the stuff that's perceived as bigger is happening kind of out there and we're just in the same size room with the same lamp doing the, doing this, doing what we usually do. The same as I was doing when I was 10. We never run out of material. You, walk, you think that, oh, well, what do we do now? And then you walk outside and there's an argument going on on the corner. I sometimes can have a hard time leaving the house because as soon as I see a situation, I gotta run home and, and draw that. Or if I don't have my sketchbook, then I end up doing that. People get into arguments, people walking around with their dogs. Um, there's an endless supply of material out there for us and it, it keeps us running back to the studio and, and uh, getting right back to work.